Yo, what up, everybody? This is Kevin. I'm making a video here. I just want to say it's a beautiful spring day. I'm loving life. I feel very appreciative of all the opportunities that I have. You know, just waking up and feeling humble. It's a beautiful thing. You know, when I think of life, I think about experiencing the world through your own eyes, going through ups and downs. You know, you got relationships, people in your life. You know, they either may come and go as they please, give you advice. They may try to tell you what to do, or they may label you, judge you, throw their opinions, assertions. But you see, I'm not really about conformity. You know what I'm saying? I think that when you come across various groups of people, it's about studying and analyzing their behavior. And it's also ways that you can help modify your own self. You see, if a person who comes into your life is giving you correct advice, he or she will do that by trying to empower you, not because they want to take you down, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like the only way we could overcome any massive global uh, problem in the world is by uniting with love and compassion and realizing that we're all going through the same similar struggles. You know, I'm very fortunate to be able to do a lot of things that a lot of people aren't able to do. And I'm talking about the little things, like being able to wake up and, you know, go to work, put money away, my savings, and, you know, try to save up, eventually want to get a home and be successful. Do the things gradually. There are people out there right now who are starving in other countries. You know, they're either oppressed. You know, you got women's rights issues in certain places in various parts of the world. You know, there's a lot of things that I have to address that even though we hear about them and that people talk about them either in the media or they betray them when we see them on TV, we don't realize what it must be like for those groups of people, what they go through, you know, dealing with these kinds of social issues. So when I think about starvation, I think about hunger, deprivation, uh, I wonder what can I do as a human being to contribute into fighting for a cause that's going to help better humanity. I mean, that's something that I would like to do. You see, when people say stuff like, oh, you got to be tough, you got to be hard enough, when people start talking about, oh, you got to be like this, you know, you're not part of the crowd, you know, you, you just average, you know, when, when, you, when you come across your peers or groups of people who you try to socially interact with them and, you know, they try to change you and they label you because you're not a certain way or you don't feel like doing certain things that you feel that in your belief may not feel right to you. Those people simply are not trying to help you. They're trying to take you down. They're trying to destroy, you know, the goodness that you have in you that you're trying to use to prevail to get ahead because they know that you have something going for you. They know that you have a particular talent. They know how passionate you are, they know everything about you that they don't have and their weakness is reflected because you have strength. So when a person criticizes you and they label you and they judge you and they put you in a box so to speak, it's because they want to be able to take their animosity and turn it on you to make you feel like you're not important. It's their basic way of trying to make you conform so this way you're not a leader. You know what I'm saying? So I think, you know, it's about a learning experience when it comes to meeting different people. You know, learning from every culture as possible. You see, the way that I see the world, I see that the only way you could truly live is to see everything from your own eyes. The only way you could experience and understand true knowledge is by being in the moment and experiencing everything that's around you and being able to just be the witness. You know what I'm saying? So I think that when people try to tell you that you need to read, you know, books on algorithms or you've got professors saying that college is the only way for you to get a real sustainable job and you've got all the pressures of society that only want you to conform and just be programming the system is just keeping people from truly learning how to be creative. And I think that that's what all systems are, divine, are, are designed for, is to try to keep people from really truly knowing themselves. 
But I've learned to break away from the everyday structure of what people do as far as just waking up and going to work, 9 to 5, just living the typical American dream. And I'm not knocking that. Believe it or not, everything that I'm talking about has to do with a dream. You know, just living life, being a part of reality and, you know, being creative and finding your success through that. But I'm just saying society and the way we all interact with one another is always based upon mutual gain, some kind of uh, way where we can feel important. But relationships shouldn't even be like that. I think relationships should really be more about knowing what a person is going through mentally, emotionally, being able to share experiences of each other's lives. I think that is required in friendships, business relationships, um, from a teacher to a student, if you're in a college or if you're going to some kind of prep school. If you, if you have where you're interacting on a level of communication or some form of gathering where people, individuals, and they have teachers and they have people one-on-one, -on -one. I think relationships should be fundamentally about expressing to one another openly and being able to understand each other psychologically. I think that's how human, human relationships should be developed in that particular standard so this way we can move forward and this way there would be less traumatic problems why you have people depressed, you have kids dropping out of school, suicide rates. We don't even have mothers and fathers who are there for their children. You got children going out in the streets, getting involved in the wrong crowds, taking drugs, abusing themselves, young girls in a prostitution. And all of this is because we don't have the family structure that's there to really raise them and guide them. So I feel like that's another problem, what I see in society, is that we're too lazy to raise our kids because we're too worried about ourselves, either in our business, our profession, our money, finances, whatever you want to label, but this is the truth. So I think that the way that I, you know, it's funny because I'm here right now just thinking and just expressing how I feel very remotely to the world and and there's a lot of things that really angered me. And what angers me is not where I'm in a rage where I want to break something or attack somebody. It's more deep-rooted in that I want to somehow take part in trying to enforce a change where I can create something by doing something that's actually going to have a cause and effect for a positive from all the negative that I see. Whether it be people in jail for crimes that they shouldn't be in jail for, all, all, all types of injustices, whether it be from somebody going to jail because they have an eighth of, of marijuana, like, and then you got child rapists who basically serve literally, literally less than a year in jail who should be doing literally a life sentence for, and you got people for various similar crimes. It's just... Whenever I think of injustice and I think of all the wrongs that are out in the world, I'm just going by different various topics of what I see. I feel like I want to do something where I can make a change, where I can get involved and I can actually make something to where it has an impact on that particular society structure and governments around the world who I feel just empowered just for the sake of money, oil reserves. We got women who are basically in slavery, that they don't have any rights. You know, that also gets to me because I feel like every human being should have the right to possess freedom. Nobody should be born not to be free. I think that's our God given right. And I think that man has corrupted everything that was intended to be whole and good. So it's just so much that I feel that is on my mind. So I just look at the world as just being really upside down. And then you even got certain religious doctrines.
trying to profess power over being humble and turning the other cheek. You got religious leaders and authority that is only looking to gain momentum and gain a certain status or symbol for themselves, not for the actual cause that they're preaching for. And that's another thing that I look at and I find very absurd. You got monarchies, people building militaries to make them stronger so they could imperialize and take over other nations. If you look at Russia, what they're trying to do to Ukraine, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, you got Russia, who's a very powerful, probably one of the most, one of the uh, most powerful uh, nations on earth, and yet just themselves and being as strong and militant as they can be, it's not enough. They want to imperialize another nation. This is what I talk about power corrupts because power feeds the ego and the ego wants more and more. Even us as a nation, us being the most powerful in the world, it's like with the whole, I'll give you an example, the whole immigration system. We have people from Mexico or the border coming over, crossing over our fence. We treat these people literally like they're non-human. We just either arrest them, jump them, put them in cages, lock them up because they're not from our country. They're not residential that they're not native to our land so we look at them and we label and we label them as these so-called phrases as illegal aliens calling a human being an alien using a term as if he is not the same that he doesn't that he or she doesn't have breathe that that doesn't breathe the same air as you and I do this is what i find completely totally hypocritical when people talk about we are all created equal, especially being in this country. I feel like we are all human beings first, regardless of what nationality or where we come from. I think that as far as our immigration system, we should start looking to treat people as human beings rather than just property or belongings in some way or trying to label them with these names and terms like illegal aliens, like describing them as if they're somehow non-human. That's another problem in this country. I mean, we, 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 if, if we really learn to take all of these, you know, beliefs that we programmed in our mind and we change them and we realize that humanity is something that we really need to be fighting for, not for guns, not for wealth, not for power and prestige. I'm not saying that in certain various cases that those things aren't good or beneficial but that's not what we should live by we should not be focused on how much status can we obtain so we can walk around with a title on our shoulders and people can say I know this guy I want to be like this guy I want to get more and more and more of the same which he has which is just material wealth in the end possessions which is doesn't mean anything it's about really finding yourself spiritually. And I think people who learn to seek themselves spiritually can learn to change the world for the better. And that is being better to one another, taking care of your fellow human beings. And, you know, I just look at the world and I try to see things with my own eyes. And the way that I gain real insight is just by every moment that comes by is a new experience. And I just take that and I learn on how to live for the next moment and what I can do either better or try to create a different reaction to something whether the experience either was good or bad and I just think that we need to come together we need to start building more for our communities reaching out to the poor the sick and what else more can I say it's 2014 and I think that we're heading for a irreversible change because of where we are now. I mean, there's so much destruction with pollution. Uh, you got people fighting wars, uh, deregulation of uh, economic currency. You know, people can't get jobs because the government, in a lot of ways, won't try to help stimulate to where 
the money needs to go to create those jobs because it's like in a way you got various groups and institutions and corporations that want to see a certain sect of people dependent on government so that they could control their lives control their income make them dependent rather than be self-sufficient and this is why I see it getting worse and worse because people are getting desperate more hungry and they're fighting over resources and now you got people committing even more heinous crimes to where it's not even that they're fighting over for food to put on that table for, to feed their families you got I'll give you an example you know what's crazy in Brazil there was a couple that was on a bus there was a bunch of cartels with guns automatic weapons machine guns or whatever it was machine guns or whatever it was AK-47s AR-15 uh, and they ran on the bus they stopped the bus and it was filled with people from the front to the back of the bus people who had the guns who were the criminals made everybody leave the bus and they took both the couple the guy and the girl they beat the guy unmercifully smashed his skull and broke his face his, broke his arms and legs and they took the girl and they raped her for nine hours unmercifully and the two people survived and can you imagine the horrors that they had to think for the rest of their lives that experience and these are people who were just savages remotely distant from any kind of sympathy or any kind of uh, love so this is what the world is and this was in Brazil I mean you got this not just in Brazil you got this all over the world you got this everywhere in our own country like just the other week somebody who was in the neighborhood was with a friend talking about wanting to rob my local bank where I bank at wanted to go up there and stick the people behind the counter and steal all the money and rob and possibly injure shoot somebody I mean th 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 this is where the world is coming from and it, and it was on the news just a week ago talking about how this person almost got away with a potential robbery so you know what I'm saying I'm just keeping it real just expressing how I feel I don't want to go on too long I just want to keep it to the point where you know where I'm coming from. This is Kevin. I just want to say I love you. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, this is where it's at. And I'm out. Peace.